Greetings and welcome to City of Gangsters. I'm Catherine of Sky and this is another game in the Steam Next Fest that has a free demo that you can play. This game comes to us from our friends at SomaSimt. I don't know if you remember, but I sure do. I played so much of their game called Project High Rise, which was about building uh, high rise buildings and putting in apartments and hotels and all kinds of things. And that was fun. And it was set in the same kind of time period. So we're kind of going to go along with that um, and I'm really excited to play this this is a kind of a turn-based thing about expanding your influence in making slightly illegal goods uh, as in alcohol during the prohibition it's a big game I've been playing this and there's a lot to it now but before we get into it I just want to say I'm so excited thank you so much to all the new members of the channel we have gotten so many new members that I've been able to add some emoticons Becoming a member of the channel is a great way to support me and it gets you some nice perks. The easiest way to do this is just click the join button and you'll be presented with all of the options. We have the support level per month and then you get to see all of the perks below in each category here. Uh, we have loyalty badges that our little sunflower grows over time as you are a member. And my favorite is the custom emoji. We have the holy fuzzy cat and all kinds of other things. A special train if you want to wish me some hype or some GGs. And of course my famous phrases, oh no nice or it'll be fine uh, and then we have different levels we've got the morale tier and calling the wild uh, which gets you the name in game perk as well as magnificent roar which is uh, your name on the end screen as always thank you so so very much for your support i deeply deeply appreciate it all right so let's get in and start a brand new game okay we have the scenario thingies. These things are going to be changeable, but not during the demo. Demo has limited content, as you probably will know. Um, and then we have the um, uh, uh, pre-made city and we are Italian. So let's go ahead and choose a character. Uh, we could be hmm, Margarita D'Angelo. Sounds good. Okay, Street Brawler. Okay, now we have a variety of choices here with these different buffs that we're going to get, but um, we're pro you're probably not going to know what the heck they mean. I think what we're going to go with is something like Respect for the Law. Reduces bribery costs for local cops by 10%, increases the effective duration of each bribe by 60 days, and reduces the likelihood of a police raid. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start a brand new game. We're going to Chicago. All right. I love this. As we as the uh, the map is loading, we have this like progression of time. I think that's brilliant. <laughs> so the city like literally grows. Um, all right, we are Margarita D'Angelo, 19 years old, Italian. You finally arrive in the big city, Chicago. The year is 1920, dawn of the Gilded Age. The country is prosperous but divided. The National Prohibition Act just made it illegal to sell, manufacture, or transport alcoholic beverages anywhere in the country. The law is seen as an attack on city residents and immigrants who don't support the temperance movement. Naturally, nobody in the city takes this law seriously. Illegal speakeasies and alcohol operations are popping up all over, and it's easy to persuade the police to look the other way. You arrive into this melting pot with a few dollars in your pocket and a family connection. You're staying with your aunt, Alma Fisher. She has a small business in the city and she's going to take you under her wing. But you don't want to run the family store. You dream about making it big and this situation is full of opportunities for someone like you. Someone who's not afraid to take risks. As you get off the train and take in the sights of skyscrapers and endless crowds, you already know. This is the beginning of something great. All right. So we are here. Uh, we have a small city block that we are part of uh, at the moment. And we, uh, yeah, we just click on our, oh, I guess we are, I don't know if we have a tutorial or not. Maybe not. 
I did already play the tutorial, but I wonder if it turned itself off because I'm not seeing the familiar pop-ups here. Uh, okay, so that's okay. We can just click our, our character. So we have a character. We also have a, a central center of operations, which is, let's see, um, here's our character. Let's see where we are. Are we Violet's Corner? Uh, no. Let's see. Andrea D'Angelo, uh, there we go. No. This is interesting. I have no idea where our, uh, our home is. I guess we can find it through the resource overlays, perhaps. Uh, controlled buildings. Wow. Aha, here we go. There we go. Almost Fruit Company. Okay, somehow I didn't see this. Um, but anyway, each section of the city is controlled by corners, which is an interesting thing because like most other games, it's controlled by a block. But here you can see the influence of the corner as in this is a stop that our car can park and we have our building. So every every game starts with you're controlling this store and this is owned by your uh, Aunt Oma Fisher and we have production of stuff. So we are going, we are making, what are we making? Grape concentrate um, and produces eight small barrels every 35 days. So every seven turns we get stuff. Now we do need some uh, stuff for this, I guess. Um, wow, we have much stuff that we can sell. My goodness, we have... Let's see, brick wine, we have hard cider. Oh, I'm not sure if we actually have any, oh, we don't have an illegal operation yet. Okay, so that's why, so this is just the fruit stand that's producing this grape concentrate. Okay, that's just fine. Um, so anyway, we need to set up an illegal operation. Let's see what we can do here. So this is kind of fun that we consume grape concentrate with the backroom brick wine. We can also make moonshine or cider or homebrew. Um, and then backroom brick wine bootlegger. That's interesting. Let's see, unlike this is unlike a speakeasy, this is more of a grab and go operation to move some of your excess capacity. That sounds amazing, but we don't have uh, the stuff for this. So I think what we want to do is probably backroom brick wine. We're going to need to buy these uh, stoneware crocks and um, and some, I don't know if we can get grape concentrate here or not. That's going to be an interesting thing to figure out. This is interesting that, that we don't get a tutorial. I'm a bit sad, but that's okay. Um, we need $700 for this. So let's check how much we actually have. We don't have much. We have 100 in our car. So this is our person. We are, well, my my stuff. I am assigned to this car, driver Margarita D'Angelo. And this is what is in our warehouse. So what I want to do is I want to try to sell some of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the car with as much stuff that I can take. Uh, because the car does have a limited capacity. You can see now that it's 100% full. And we're going to kind of drive around and figure out stuff. So... There are things on the map. So what we have here is we have two stores, which we kind of briefly looked at. And what this symbol means is that we have favors available to talk to these people. Now we can see there are other places where we have favors and then there are buildings with question marks above them. And those are buildings we've never been to. And so we need to kind of explore them and figure out what they do. So let's see over here, Longo's Italian grocery store. We have a 16, a reputation with these people so and we can see what we can buy apple juice and unknown resources and this is what we can sell small barrels so what do you buy or sell here uh, okay so we they sell apple juice in the market for small barrels so you get a feeling he also trades in things you don't know about yet so those are the illegal things but what we can say is let's see um, let's ask him what favors he has. So each of these people kind of has different favors dependent sort of on how well you know them. And let's see, uh, we could use, I could use a bit of support with a common friend or our outfit wants to expand our territory. We already control this corner, but we'd like to expand beyond that. I want you to run a front for us in your establishment. We want to do this, I think. Let's see. 
Uh, what exactly is involved with running one of these fronts for you? You know how we're respected in this corner? We need to do the same on the surrounding corners. Show people that we're on their side and they can turn to us in times of trouble. So first I'll need you to scout out and raise some of these opportunity that will raise our respect. All right. And so then, once we control another corner, our outfit will extend an offer of protection to local businesses. We'll help protect our friends from misfortune. In exchange, they will come here to drop off some envelopes. I'll need you to collect them for me and not ask any questions. You're seeing where this is going, right? We're getting protection money here. Okay. I know exactly what you mean. I'll take care of our neighbors and their drop-offs. Okay. So then we have a new deal. So this, this I like, I really like this about the game. You can investigate what the favor is about and then choose if you want to spend it. Because favors are hard to come by uh, in general. So then we have a deal. I knew we can count on you. Okay. So let's see. Let's talk about the locals. I need to expand my territory out here. Okay. Um, I have an idea what to do next block over. Have you seen the state of the parks in this area? They're a disgrace. Dead plants, overgrown paths, broken equipment. If a local leader were only to come forward to fund the upkeep, that person would have the respect of an entire block. So this is going to be $10 right away and $10 on the first of each month. Your territory may expand to that corner over the next few turns. This is the major way of getting influence over an area is having these kinds of um, basically pay into it. You have an interesting way of asking for things. I'd be happy to pay $10 every month for the upkeep of the local park. So long as that respect materializes. Okay. So this is going to happen. All right. So this is great. So you notice immediately our, um, our reputation with him has increased. We also have more favors, which is good. Um, let's see. So we can now ask what they buy and sell. Oh, no, we can't. We can't actually get these things. Okay, that's fine. So never mind. Um, let's see what else he can do. Let's see. Bit of support with a common friend. No, we don't need that. We can also learn new skills from him. In addition to collecting these envelopes of cash for you every month, I'd be happy to also collect materials from around the neighborhood to help you with your booze production. I would just like to ask for your help to build some extra storage at my place. Okay. So I need more details. Okay. Ethnic solidarity is a new skill. Take advantage of your shared background with a friend to get a variety of benefits from your fellow immigrants. Acquiring the skill allows you to expand some of your operations operations what where you produce booze skills learned by are learned by the entire crew so everyone will be able to benefit from this knowledge we haven't talked about additional crew members yet but we will get there because we can hire people to help us with our our things um let's see what will it take they need twelve hundred dollars uh i think we're going to use up a favor and we can deliver the money later so what we need to do, though, is actually sell some of this booze in the trunk of our car. Let's go and see at Violet's Corner. Um, but we have no more action points. We have no more turns. So we need to go to next turn. Okay, that's fine. So let's see. We learned about a new resource, grapes, fruit of the vine. Um, all right, great, great, great. Let's go here and see what do you buy or sell. Uh, for sure, let's see if there's something you're interested in. Um, not much here. Never mind. Okay. I have great news. We've taken control of the corner. Things will be better around here. Uh, let's see. That's good of you. But we should make things better together. It would be an honor to assist. How can I help? Even a small monthly contribution of $20 would help this neighborhood immensely. Andrea D'Angelo will be collecting them. Let's demand payment. Extortion. Oh, no, we've we yeah, that didn't go over. Well, I would advise you to change your attitude. Hmm. So what happens is if their relationship with you is high enough, they will happily give you money. Uh, but in this case, we kind of overstepped our bounds. So we didn't get any money from Violet. And yeah, we just lost rep. So what we need to do here is we need to find a place where we can sell our booze. So far, we don't have any of these places. So let's kind of go along where we might have friends. So let's just go to this corner next. Oops. No, no, no. Hello. Let's go here. Do I not have any? 
Two action points, 11 movement points. Let's go. Oh, must be right click. There we go. Okay, and let's just check out the local businesses. What do you buy or sell? Okay, let's get out of there. We're too far from this business, so this one must belong to the next corner. Let's see this one. What do you buy or sell? Oh, all right. Want to sell brick wine and homemade beer. Okay, this is perfect. We have brick wine. They buy at $15 per crock. I might have some in the car now. You can press shift click to um, sell all the stuff that you have. All right, so we sell for that. I forgot what else we have in our car. Let's see what is in this car. Oh, I know there's a way to see it. And I, I don't, uh, anyway, we'll just ask him. We'll just ask him. This is funny. This auto auto body shop, right? <laughs> We're just selling them stuff. Do we have any beer? Let's look. Yeah, we do. We have the beer. So offer to sell the beer. And what I'm going to do next is so anytime, anytime you sell them stuff, their relationship goes up. So I want to go over here and then we need to go back to our place and I want to pick up more brick wine. Okay. So we have hard cider and brick wine. We have money. Now, how much did it cost to set up the thing? It was 700. Okay, so let's keep on selling stuff. Let's go down here, go to this place. And we need to go next turn. We ran out of action points there. Okay, they buy brick wine. Hey, cool. This is great. So offer to sell now. And then we need a place that buys, I think it's hard cider. So this is, you can sell homemade beer. Okay. I guess we'll go back. The car doesn't really hold a lot of stuff. So it's good to kind of go back and get stuff. Oh, but we have our $700. So I think what we want to do is, is get a little bit more money because we do need to go here we have unfinished business here but we also need to look at our expansion um one of the things is if we are at a deficit as in we don't have anybody giving andrea any money right now so he is going to want money to keep up for that parks uh stuff going on so let's go look here nothing there but we have up here what, what can we do here let's see what they'll buy Oh, we can buy lumber and steel barrels. That's cool. All right, what about here? Oh, wow, we have uh, three favors here. What are we buying here? Oh, I want to sell the brick wine. Let's go. Let's sell all of this. Um, they only buy a certain amount, obviously. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Let's see, expand our territory. At the moment, we cannot expand this territory until we have another front. Uh, set up so this and this one is already expanding so we need to wait on that one okay so that's good let's go down here and oh insufficient movement points all right let's go down here and i want to check out this place what do we got here cafe dublin and coffee black as hell strong as death sweet as love they get regular shipments of grapes from California and other viticulture heavy regions. Let's see, what do they do? They sell grapes and stoneware crocs. I wanna buy the stoneware crocs, I think, because we're going to need them later. As in for the manufacture of our illegal booze once we get that up and going. So let's go ahead and go here. And we're gonna drop off the crocs here. And we'll pick up some more brick wine. And what we want to do is set this up. Set up a new operation. Oh, we need to transfer the money into the uh, place here. So let's just send up to 700. There we go. And we'll set this up now. Okay, so backroom brick wine. We have a lot of people buying brick wine, so this is great. We have the lumber also in our storeroom. So let's go ahead and build this. Take It'll take five turns just to start the operation. Now, in the meantime, we can go ahead and get um, some more stoneware crocs. We need 45 in order to start the process. And I'm not actually sure how this works. If we 
uh, are selling these um, things or not. Probably not. Probably they're going to end up here. But I don't know precisely. I haven't really done this kind of a business before. Uh, so let's see. We need to buy some more stoneware crocs. And then we also just need to figure out, you know, what's going on with our territory and visit more new places. So what we can do is if we have forgotten who buys our brick wine, we can use this, um, the filter here and we can see these things. Now, one of the things I really, really wish was in the game was to be able to keep these overlays on because as soon as you select your, um, character and then go somewhere else, like, or, or like this, it disappears. So it can be kind of annoying to like keep clicking on the filter, on the filter all the time, uh, so that you can just, yeah, sell all your, all your stuff here. So let's see, um, we want to sell brick wine. Let's just do that. We basically just want to sell as much as possible. Uh, okay, we'll see you around. Good, good. Basically what I want to do is keep improving relationships with the locals as much as possible because as we're expanding, we're going to want to make friends and hopefully extort some money out of them. Okay, we ran out of action points, so okay, don't do that again. Let's go and scope out this place. Central Scrapyard. Okay, there's probably some organization to sell these piles of vehicle parts and broken down cars. The proprietor of this scrapyard would probably help you get rid of an unwanted vehicles or quietly repair a damaged one. How can I help you? Oh, I hear, you, I hear you've got a car or two for sale and that you buy unwanted vehicles. Oh, I might be interested. What do we got here? Let's see, two door passenger car. It has a limited cargo space. Nah, that's not what I wanted. I'm looking for a truck, so not right now. Let's see, let's see what this place is. Okay, this is a hardware supply. What do they sell? Baseball bat, bricks and lumber. That's good because in the future we might wanna buy stuff like this. Okay, let's go to the next area. What do we got here? Um, cold storage facility. All right, they are not, oh, action points, that's right. Okay, let's find out. Buying and selling is what I do. They wanna uh, buy cigarettes. Okay, so this is good. So some of these people will just talk openly about buying illegal stuff here. So here we go, what do you buy and sell? Malt syrup and, oh, stoneware crocs, I'll buy some. Yeah, let's go. We can't buy that many because <laughs> Our, our our trunk is full of booze at the moment, so we need to sell some of that. All right, let's go next turn. Oh, oh, your respect is rising in this city. Another new corner has been added to your cruise territory. Okay, this is great. So we have a fat stack of envelopes for me. Really? Wow, okay. What do you sell? Um, okay, they sell lumber. Let's go ahead and go back to our home corner. See what we got here. Um, let's see. How is our expansion coming along? Good, 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 good. Um, what do we do here? Let's see. I believe you have something for me. Yeah, I have $10 for you. We collected $20 minus $10 in costs. Okay, hold on to it. I'll pick it up later because we're, we're going to try to expand some more. Okay, let's go ahead and do the, where is it? Is it this one? Nope, I can't remember which uh, thing it is. Let's see, do they buy brick wine? No, <laughs> they don't. Um, hmm. You know what, let's just pick this up. Huh, I can't remember how to do the another expansion. What we can do though, is expand over in this area where we uh, were investigating before. I think that was over here. Oh, do you have a moment for a quick chat? I'm listening. Uh, so we come to this country and then they ban alcohol. If we were back home, we could drink as much as we like. So if we were home, I could make as much as I want. Make, you say? Perhaps you'd be willing to teach a countryman like me how to make some booze. To be honest, I'd feel better if your outfit controlled more territory. If our people are going to take over this city, we should get started. Okay, so we need to have five corners on our territory. This is where we pick up extra missions to do, like uh, objectives to complete. Uh, 
Agreed. I'll come back once our outfit has taken over a few more corners. You'll see. Our people are going to rule these cities underworld. All right. So let's see. They, I can sell some brick wine there. Okay. I want to sell this first. Okay. Um... Huh. Okay, well, I guess we're still expanding elsewhere. Okay, that's interesting. Um, hmm. That's good. Good, good. What does this person want it again? Let's see. We have lumber, steel barrels. Okay, that's fine. I guess what I... Oh, we have a something over here. Okay, we've gained control over this section of the city. Let's go down here and see if there's anything that we can do there. Okay, one of your fronts is ready to expand your territory further. Ah, okay. Jeez. All right, that was the my bad. All right, let's see if we can do this now. How is our... Okay, now we have the icon with the little city block thing there. How's our front doing? Or, well, actually, it's the corner. Um, we need to expand our territory again. Okay, uh, I had a woman come in asking for help. Her husband died during the Great War, and now she's having trouble making ends meet. I think helping out some poor widows and elderly would bring you renown. All right, so it's another $10 a month, um, and that's fine. Okay, good, good. Let's see, they buy, okay, apple juice. I'll see you around. And while we're here, I'll just go to the warehouse and transfer some stuff. Namely, the stoneware crocs. I'm having a hard time selling this hard cider anywhere. It does look like we are getting grape concentrate in. I desperately need to get those crocs. Do we know of any other places that we can sell our brick wine? Oh, these two places. Jeez. Okay, let's go and sell them here. Let's talk about buying and selling. Sell the brick wine. Yes, go. Oh, perfect. And then let's buy the Crocs. This is a really nice thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back home. And then we'll put these in here. There we have 42. I forget how many we need need 45 okay um one brick wine left <laughs> it's one left no Alrighty, let's go back to this corner I'm gonna have to like turn this a tiny bit there we go um oh okay too far uh, we're we're not enough stuff Ooh, one of our crew members has gained enough experience to gain a new level and our operation is ready to go Okay, I want to go up to this corner because we need to go here and sell stuff. So what do you buy or sell here? All right. Oh, our hard cider. Hooray. We can finally get rid of that. Let's do the hard cider. Okay, go, go, go. Offer to sell. Excellent. And then we can buy the crocs. This is good. All right, there we go. Buy them all. Oh, 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 wait. I wanted to see the new skill. Just, oh, yeah. We need to increase something here. So we have smart opportunists. It improved to level one. Increase the number of action points per turn. We can increase the number of movement points per turn. Or increase our combat effectiveness. Now, I am going to be the gal with the baseball bat. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Just in case we might have to use a little muscle around here. All right. Um, okay, let's look again. I want to see what the new skill they're offering is. Ah, cider making. Okay, that's, that's interesting. That's a good thing to, to know about. Let's go back home and start our production business. We really need to get that going because we are lacking in these crocs. So let's do that. Let's get the crocs in here. And yeah, we have money going on. This is good. Very, very good. So once we control five territories, that's when we can get another person to help us with the operation. So let's see. Let's go down to this corner and see what we got here. We have a uh, deli. Oh, I hear you're a well-connected person. Perhaps I could ask you about something. I'm listening. I've heard a rumor that you can get your hands on some interesting potent liquids. Is that true? 
Indeed, I have a supply of brick wine that's looking for an outlet. Let me know if that interests you. It might. Why don't you bring a few crocs over and we'll see if it's good stuff. Okay, I'll be back with it. I think we can give them some. Um, oh, we don't have any right now. Okay, I think we just have the cider. What else do they buy and sell? Oh, nothing at the moment. Okay, so this is good. This is another mission that we can give them some brick wine as soon as our production cycle finishes. Because right now it is, uh, we need, let's see, what is it? Seven turns? No, 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 that's the wrong thing. This is, yeah, every seven turns. So it looks like it's maybe two done. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. In the meantime, let's look at this residence. Oh, it's a furniture store. I do love the icons and stuff. They're pretty great. They're pretty great. All right, this is a furniture emporium. What do they buy and sell? Um, not much <laughs> at the moment. They don't like us enough. This is kind of a rough thing where I think what we need to do is get a favor to... Um, Oh, wow. We don't have any shared connections at all. Probably get a favor to improve relationship with people. I'm guessing. So let's see. You scoped out a new business. Okay, that's that. Good, good. Let's go ahead and go down here and kind of like, kind of look around this area kind of in a, in a bit of a square. All right. Standard aluminum metal works. We don't have any more action points. So let's go ahead and next turn it. There we go. We can buy barrels. Okay, that's a thing. Let's see, where else do we want to go? Let's go down here. Oh, we met Morgan's crew. They are one of the many small-time troublemakers that can be found all over the city. Unlike outfits, these hooligans only cop occupy one corner, and while they can get very possessive of it, their ambitions are limited. If you're on good terms, they might share access to some illegal goods or help you in another way. However, if you want to get in a fight, just get into a conversation. Start insulting them and see what happens. Yes. Okay, so generally these businesses that are controlled by other people, um, either the, um, what do you call them, these hooligans or other outfits, because there are people like us who have bigger operations going on, the businesses in those corners won't do business with you. So I'm just going to skip those for now. Oh, Barry's crew. Okay, so these two crews are very next to each other. That's fun. These are all, are these all in the same block? No, I guess not. Let's see what this place is. Let's see, buying and selling, there's not much there. Okay, what's this place? Barrels, lumber, or a pocket knife. So that's another weapon that we could potentially acquire. I think, do we have any, I guess we can start going, I was thinking about start going, going back to our home. Let's see our, um, see what's going on here. We still have t like two turns left on that one. So I think we can go, maybe let's go up here and see what these people have. Oopsies, oopsies. All right, we have a gas station. Nice. Uh, they fix vehicles. Good, good. All right, that's fun. Now I wonder if I can go up here and open a front with either of these people. Let's see. Uh, I can't build a front with them yet. Okay, that's that's unfortunate. What do these people do? This is support. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna just gonna go back home and try to get some more. We actually need some more cash here, so that's what we're what I'm looking forward to. Um, great concentrate stonework crocs. Yep. All right. I guess let's go next turn. And how's it going? All right. Like one more turn. All right, let's go up here. Just explore a tiny bit more. Okay. Movement points needed. All right. One of our operations has completed a production cycle. All right. And it's in the storage room. Very good. A new corner now acknowledges that you're, you and your crew are in charge around here. Everyone knows who you are now and that you mean business. Okay, I, I'll just go down here real quick, find out what this is. It is a pastry place. Ah, and we can buy stoneware crocs, that's fine. We, we always need more. We always need a cabillion crocs. So we'll go down here. 
And then we are going to yeah, get some of our new stuff up for selling. So let's get this brick wine into the car here. We can probably, hmm, I think I'll leave the money in the car with us for now. Let's see, we have three corners currently. We are available for expansion, but I want to go to the other place and see if we can uh, open a front over there or not. So let's see, I, what do we want to do? We can sell, no, uh, we want to go, Never mind. And then how is our expansion coming along? Okay, so let's see. I believe you have something for me. Okay, well, I have zero dollars for you. 20 minus 20. Okay, hold on to it. I'll pick it up later. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, and how is our expansion? Um, I guess it's good. Good, I'll come back next month. I guess they're not, are we ready for this? actively working on expanding. Okay, so we, we can't expand yet. But what I do want to do is deliver some of this brick wine around. Now we did have a place uh, for our quest. And that's this one. Uh, I think it's here. Okay, good, good. And I guess we go this square, I believe that corner. All right, let's drop this off here first, the brick wine. Hmm. Well, it's not quite wine, but it will do the. Uh, it'll get the job done. I think we can probably do some business together. Yeah, we can definitely do business together. Our relationship has gone up 25 points. Okay, someone asked for your help. You obliged. Now it's time to explore the benefits of generosity. Okay, perfect. So let's see. What new skill do they have? Homebrew production. Okay, that seems useful. But um, let's look at the favors. Oh, we could run a front here. I'm kind of thinking that would be a great job here. Yeah, let's do let's do um, a front here. There we go. First, we need to get locals on our side and gain some respect. Yep, yep, all the things. Okay, um, I know you're hesitant, so I'll also throw in two hundred seventy dollars to sweeten the deal. Okay, we're gonna use a favor and money for this. So there we go. Okay, it'll be a pleasure. I'll take care of our neighbors and their envelopes. Your loyalty is going to be rewarded. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's expand territory. And here we can do paying $10. There we go, $10 a month. And then I think, what do they buy here? Let's sell them brick wine. Okay, very good. Offer to sell. I'll see you around. Perfect. Okay, things are going very, very nicely. Okay, new corner of the city is here. And then our other... Okay, we've reached the limits of this front's growth potential. And I guess we need to set up... The... There we did. We just set up a new front to get things going. I guess we should explore this area around. Uh, we have five cor or four corners out of five in this uh, territory thing going on. I want to sell some more brick wine. So let's find out where we can sell stuff. All right, let's sell here. Um, all right, we need more points. So there we go. Let's sell stuff. Brick wine. All right. Good. Very good. All right. And then can I? I can buy crocs. So that's perfect. Because I need to go back to our um, our central office, shall we say, <laughs> and get all this stuff. So let's see. This is on a production cycle. All right. It's just doing two there. So stoneware crocs go in. I am just not selling this hard cider. I need to find the place that actually uh, buys it. Let's, let's find that place. Let's find it. Hard cider. They. Oh, it's here. Okay, nice. Is that there? I think it's there. Okay, let's sell stuff here. Buying and selling. I want to sell brick wine. Take it all, please. And we need another turn. Alrighty. And our hard cider. Okay, let's get this. There we go. Okay, nice. And we can also buy crocs here. Um, let's see. What can we do here? Use support with a common friend. I wonder if they can... Okay, they have... 
we already have a good relationship there. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 I have another idea. What about local troublemakers? Morgan's crew. Yes. Ah, that's great. I want to get in with them. Tell me more about that crew. Let's see. You're, yeah, let's see. Uh, they know about the shipments coming and going, and if something falls off the back of a truck, it usually ends up in their hands, you know what I mean? All right, let's use a favor. We have three favors with them, so I think we're, we should do that. Okay, this is perfect. So let's see them around later, later. This is exciting. Things are starting to move, and as soon as we have five corners, we're gonna get another employee. That's kind of important to do. We have a thousand monies, which is great. Uh, I think we're going to go just kind of look and explore stuff because we don't have our production done anytime soon. So we need to kind of look around. Uh, let's go ahead and do next turn. Oh, you just met the King boys. They are one of the many small time. Wait, where are they? Here, maybe? Ah, uh, hooligans. Okay, so they must be down here. Alrighty. Oh, oh, police are descending on Lily Street. Whoa. Okay, so here we have a copper... Um, yeah, and we don't know them yet. We have zero stuff. We can, we can go and talk to them, actually. Say hi. I just wanted to say how we appreciate how much law enforcement is doing for this neighborhood. Yeah, thank you. It's nice to hear that from the citizens of our fair city. Now, we can intimate a bribe. Um, and I would recommend you stop beating your gums before you say something you're gonna regret. Okay, they don't trust me enough to get a bribe from me. We're just having a friendly chat, officer. No need to blow a gasket. Have a good day. All right, so that's fine. Let's instead go back up here and, yeah, just see what we got here. We can buy bottles and small bottles at the store. And we can kind of go around and see if there's more stuffs. Okay, next turn. Okay, let's go there and see. Okay, they have armoires and stuff. I sell pocket knives. Okay, interesting. I kind of want to keep going ish in a circular direction, kind of. Alrighty, let's go here. Hello, please. There we go. Nothing there, evidently. We can go here. Oh, new business. Okay, what do they have for sale? I always keep an eye out for a good deal. Hmm, not today you don't. Ooh, a junkyard. Oh, a vehicle or two for sale. What do they have? Two-door passenger car. No, I want, I want a truck. <laughs> Come on. Give me a truck. I want a truck. Oh, Production cycle is completed. We are going to go straight back home and pick that up. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All right. So fruit company. Um, there we go. Hello. Hello. Oh, we need more crocs. I keep forgetting to buy more crocs. So let's get some brick wine in the car and see if we can sell this off somewhere. Now, let's see this place. Um, can we actually do anything here? How's our front doing? Let's see. Yep, it's fine. Good job. Good job. It's it's making <laughs> making no money. <laughs> it's great. Um, can we do anything here? We're too far to interact. Oh, we have a this front needs our attention. They have a little bit of a money thing, a money problem. One of the things that I do wish about this game it would be that this would be a little bit more prominent. As in, I don't want them to get mad at me because I'm not giving them enough money. So let's see, how's our expansion coming along? Uh, we haven't connected, collected enough, so we owe them stuff, okay? So we give them money, and how is our expansion? Uh, I think it's going, I think it's going. Okay, and we can sell them stuff. Let's sell them some brick wine, yay. And we can maybe, no, we can't buy anything from them for now. Let's see. I want to go... I also want to see about this. So here we've uh, taken control. Let's try to extort these people for money to see if we can just get this to be self-sufficient. 
Uh, I don't like where this is going. Now that we're in charge, we'll make sure that bad nothing bad happens to your business here for a nominal maintenance fee. You do want to make sure nothing bad happens, right? I guess that depends on what you have in mind. Cash donations will keep things running smoothly. Mildred Brown will be connecting to $20 every month. Demand payment. I don't like that where this is going. The answer is no. You're declining my protection? What a shame. Because bad things happen all the time, you know. All the time. And destroy property. Yay. Good. Next morning, staff come in to discover the overnight. Someone pelted all the windows with rocks and bricks. In quantity excessive for even the most brazen hooligans. Okay. I'm not afraid of your kind. We'll see about that. So, we did not... Uh, we need another action point. We need to, I want to keep threatening them here. Oh, one of our fronts is ready to keep expanding. Oh, all right. Okay, all right. Very good. Um, let's see. We need to finish our little chat. Uh, let's see. It's now our burden to make sure nothing bad happens on this corner. For example, buildings like this old construction, they burn down all the time. But together, we can make sure that doesn't happen. You can go to hell. Oh my gosh, we're, we're going to be really bad here. <laughs> Later that day, someone drove by and threw a bottle filled with gasoline right through the front window. Only the owner's fast reaction stopped this from turning into a fiery disaster. You're a monster. Yes, I am. They comply with your demands. Watch it. Okay. Yay. We're now getting money from them. Let's talk to these people. How's our front doing? All right. Providing local upkeep. Let's keep on expanding. Uh, now we have the parks again. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. And let's see. We can probably sell them more, some more brick wine because we've spent so long. Yeah, that's fine. I'll see you around. So that's good. So this is now self-sustaining, this area. Um, one of the important things about demanding money and stuff is that they have to be kind of on the same corner as your um, as your front. So that's kind of an important thing and why I haven't been asking other people about stuff. So one of the thing is we need to visit Carlotta for a chat. So we need to go back over here. On the way, I want to visit our selling places for brick wine. Let's see where if we can find those so there's one there so let's go down here visit this place very good i want to sell brick wine let's go offer to sell good good we'll go next turn i want to see if we can is there a way to get money from these people wouldn't that be great um i have great news we've taken control of this corner things will be better uh, but we should make things better together. It would be an honor to assist. How can I help? Let's see if we can get money. Eh? You know you can count on me in a time of need. All right, so it costs us 20, 20, um, stuff. They resent being extorted. Okay. Um, but they knew us from back in the day. We're happy to help those who help us. So now we're getting more money, which is great. Apparently we don't need to be that close, uh, on the corner to, to get stuff, but... I guess it helps, probably. Let's see. I want to sell these people some brick wine. All right. Offer to sell. And then we also want to buy... Oops. No, no, no. Sorry. Wrong thing. We want to get the stoneware crocs. Okay. Offer to buy. I'm going to go ahead and drop these things off in our place here. Let's see. Ernest Hamilton. Yep. They agree to our demands unfortunate that they don't realize you know how important it is what we're doing here pick up the rest of the brick wine and I think we can want to check out let's where is another place that buys our brick wine is down there okay actually these people will buy it so let's go over here we can talk to them about yeah glad you were able to help me always happy to help friends Good to see our people standing up for ourselves and taking control of corners. How can I help you expand? Okay, we can uh, turn it into hard cider. That is another thing we can do. I've got a line on malt syrup. Uh, homemade beer. That's homebrew production. Moonshine manufacture or moonshine distillation. Hmm. 
I don't know what the difference between these two is. Let's see our filter thingy here. We have moonshine, but I don't know anybody who buys moonshine. Homemade beer? We have homemade beer. We have three places that buy hard cider. I guess we could maybe do the cider. Because it's kind of important to have places that buy stuff. Uh, really important. Uh, they also need crocs. So it's another common thing that we don't have to buy separate items for. As in bottles or something like that. So maybe I want to ask her how to make the... Um, uh, the thing that I now forgot what it was. Hard cider. Yeah. Okay, that's this. Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Okay. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something else happened now. Okay. Oh, a distant cousin of ours that I've been getting to know quite well has been dispatching delivery trucks for a carding company. She's willing to help out family and perhaps her connections with del delivery vehicles could help you out. Well, now that you mention it, I've been wanting to use larger delivery trucks, but I want to make sure things look legitimate. That means all kinds of registrations and permits and that can be hard to come by if you see where I'm going. This is what I expected with the five things finished. So something that was interesting with the other thing that happened. I, I wonder how we get back to that. Okay, our friend can arrange all these through her company as well. All part of the fee. You'll be able to get as many delivery trucks as you need with her help. Okay, we just need to give her $250. Alrighty. I have the things you're waiting for. Give her this. Okay. So we get, um, okay, our cousin dropped off this envelope. It has everything you'll need. But because our f of our family connection, it's been made clear to me that there are definitely other opportunities to be had with this delivery operation if you can provide some assistance. Uh, and so we can do a gain skill truck driving or further opportunities always. Let's look. All right, made a new friend and we have new opportunities. Okay, so till next time, my friend. All right, so let's see. Deliver the goods. Deliver the my. Okay. Money talks, my friend. See the truck out front? Keys are under the front seat. They've made arrangements for you and to use it as you see fit. But now that you have a truck, they may have other opportunities as well if you want to continue this arrangement. So we gain a new vehicle, pickup truck vehicles do we have i don't know not sure what i could provide to help um so we get either building relationships or i've been looking to sell more brick wine and they do more do work for a delivery company let's do that new customers brick wine okay there's a lot of stuff going on here this is a bit okay this is a bit nuts here so we have this truck, which I guess I'll leave my current car there, maybe. Um, let's see. The, what do I have in my car? I know there's a way to see this. Focus you on to get more information about this corner. Okay. And what do we have here? Okay, that's the pickup truck. Now I want to see what I have in our car. Uh, no, nothing. What we also need to do is find a uh, another person. So let's see. Let's go and visit Carlotta again. That's where is that? Carlotta is here. Ah, that's where we had it. Okay, let's find out about Carlotta. This was what we were going to do here. I think we were going to do cider making or was it homebrew? Oh, jeez. I don't remember. Cider. Yeah. Har uh, we were going to do cider. I remember because we were looking about that. So cider making. Okay. We got a new skill. Hooray. Smart way and a hard way. Let's see. We can sell brick wine. Oh, we got a new level as well. We can do... I think we need to get more action points per turn. That would help us. Okay. Let's see. My fellow countrymen, we were going to set up a local civic club to have a place where we can come together and reminisce about our homeland. And since you've already helped out a member of my family, I'm sure you can help us in this endeavor. Okay. 
Right now, we're taking donations to help rent a hall for a few dances, dinners, and other ga gatherings. Could you sponsor one? Huh? How is this going to help me? <laughs> no thanks. Not right now. Uh, we'll think about that later. Let's sell some brick wine. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be fine. See you around. Wow. New customers, brick wine. Wow. Deliver 24. I didn't notice that part. Uh, what I want to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out of this car and then go and pick up that pickup truck. So let's do this and we need more. Oh, we need more crocs. Oh no, this is bad. We definitely need to get that going. Uh, upgrades available. Okay, we can do expanded brick wine or backroom wine operation that gives us more wine or we can do a garage brick wine. Uh, it'll allow us to outfit our, uh, our outfit to operate one more delivery truck, but it'll make further upgrades impractical while it's functioning as a garage. So this would be nice. We need a bit of money for this. But what I want to do is let's take out everything from this car. Uh, let's go, 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 go. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to go. This is so awkward to have like this truck all the way out here. Um... But what we're going to do is we're going to just change this truck here to the pickup truck. This can hold a lot of stuff. So I want to look firstly and get more stoneware crocs where we can buy some of those. And just bring those back as we're going back home. So let's buy crocs. Yep. Let's go get them all. All of them offer to buy. And we have no money because we took all the money out of this the car <laughs> of course jeez okay it's fine it's fine it's fine all right let's get money let's get all the stuff that we need um because what we can do actually is we can get some um we can get another driver eventually so let's take let's get some crocs i want to get that started it has to we have to keep making stuff we have to keep making things that's so important uh, okay, let's get Crocs. There we go. And pick them up. Oh my gosh, only 10? Really? Come on, people. These people have Crocs as well. Oh, they have nothing. Wow, okay. How many are we missing? I have 10. We have 38. Okay, I can go back home and just, like, get the process started at least and then we can go more shopping for these things anyway though we are getting to the point of having way too much time in this episode so i'm probably going to play more of this game it looks really really fun and interesting this is a free demo on steam so go on over there and check it out um as you can see the um the, the atmosphere is changing a bit. This game has seasons. I think we're getting ready to go into winter. It's already the end of September here. And we're going to get some snow soon. So anyway, um, looking forward to playing more of this game. And getting some friends to help us. Because I think these places, uh, like this one. Yeah, they know people looking for work. Uh, any kind of work. So we can hire people to help us maybe do some deliveries of our brick wine and get things really on the road. So check out the day game on Steam. In the meantime, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.